Hey guys, oh my goodness, I almost went through with the most important part of this video without it even recording. So let's kick things off here and say I am so excited because I just received something in the mail yesterday and I wanted to shoot this video earlier this morning, but it has just been a crazy day, but it is now uh, about one o'clock, about a year ago, maybe it I don't even know. I mean, it could have been a little less, a little more than a year ago, but long enough ago for me to have completely forgotten. I backed this Kickstarter for a fragrance that's supposed to be based on the smell of space, and it's called Eau de Space. You guys might know I am a huge fan of fragrances. I love it as an art form. It's uh, I collect them. It's like a hobby of mine, and I also love anything to do with the universe and space and all of these fascinating things. So I backed this Kickstarter without a second thought, and I'm not sure if you could still buy these bottles or if it was just kind of like a one-off perk thing for the people that got it through Kickstarter because now they're actually in production and uh, being sent out because yesterday I received my fragrances in the mail and I had completely forgotten about them and I was so excited and I wanted to open them right away. But I thought, how cool and fun would it be to take you guys through this experience? You could see this one has a plastic wrap on it. This is Eau de Luna. This is the smell of the moon. It's a really cool box. It came very well packaged. The back here, you could see here is Eau de Space. Same thing. Uh, they, I think they messed up here because they also wrote the smell of the moon. I think they meant to write the smell of space, but no biggie. And the back here, which I will read to you, which describes the smell. Now you'll notice the plastic wrap. I noticed that the camera wasn't filming as soon as I took this off. But I'll tell you guys right now, as soon as I took the plastic wrap off of the top, a big whiff of what I can only describe as as orange tang powder came out. I didn't open it yet. Thank goodness I didn't spray anything yet. I wanted to do this video earlier today, um, better late than never, because I wanted to spray this and this on myself on each arm and also a little bit of my clothing just to test out the longevity that way. But I wanted to do an authentic first impression with you guys and then I'm gonna check back in later tonight sometime, at least a few hours, and let you know how it developed on my skin. I, I have a feeling that this is not something that's supposed to be worn on the body, like a perfume or, or typical fragrance in that sense. I think it's mostly just the experience of smelling the moon and smelling space, but it'll be interesting to see nonetheless. I do have to run a couple of errands, so hopefully um, nobody is super put off by these smells, maybe they'll be delicious. Just to give you guys a little rundown, the website is odespace.com, but you can go there, you can learn more, read more, check out how they came up with this. They actually interviewed uh, different astronauts, space tourists, and figured out what they said, the elements that they said made up the scent or the smell when they were out in space. Same thing for smell of the moon with astronauts who have visited the moon. This is pungent. It's not, it's, I'm not smelling anything bad, but I'm telling you, as soon as I took the plastic off this one, orange tang, but mixed with, I can't put my finger on it. It's not unsettling, but it's strong. So let me go ahead and read the back here, because this actually gives a breakdown of what the notes, I guess, I don't know what kind of notes, but the experience that we are supposed to get through this fragrance. Decades ago, astronauts aboard the International Space Station noticed something strange after returning from a spacewalk. The astronauts secured the safety hatch, took off their extravehicular mobility units, commonly known as spacesuits, and smelled something strange. Quote, a rather pleasant metallic sensation like sweet smelling welding fumes, burning metal, a distinct odor of ozone, an acrid smell, walnuts and brake pads, gunpowder, fruit, rum, and burnt almond cookie. Even the first space tourists exclaimed about a pungent aroma like burnt cookies. Once the hatch opened, 
The smell of space is so distinct that NASA reached out to a fragrance maker to recreate the odor for its training simulations. So, mm, I, it is pungent. I mean, there, I haven't even taken it out of the box and I smell pungent orange tang powder. We'll see what direction this goes. By the way, I will link anything, any websites or anything like that in the description below. So here's the bottle. A little off center with that label, but let's not be neurotic about it. This thing is pretty cool. It is glass and I don't know how to describe this right now. I kind of don't want to spray it on myself, but for the sake of, of accuracy, I am going to. I'm going to spray it on my forearm just because I wash my hands a lot so I don't want it to wash off my wrist and I'm also going to spray it on the right side of my shirt but here we go oh my god <laughs> wait a second wait for it I'm not going to knock it it's sharp there's a sharpness to it Ooh, a very alcohol first spritz a lot of alcohol there what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that kind of calm down. I'm getting like a, like a rum drink. I'm getting like a mimosa right now because between the alcohol and the orange tang, yeah, I don't think this is supposed to be a personal, like a person on person fragrance. Well, let me go ahead and spray it on my shirt. Cause I said I would. And as we all know, especially cause I think I am going to have a workout and we'll see how it lasts on skin versus material, which material typically makes fragrances. They'll last longer. So so let's all remember Ric Flair is out to space. I feel like the cats are going to respond to this. That is pungent. Maybe I shouldn't run my errands today. Okay, there's a fragrance called Metallique by Tom Ford. I'm not saying that this smells like that, but it has similarities, unsurprisingly. That one's called Metallique. It has these a really cool metallic looking bottle. That one is a lot better. And here's the thing. I remember when I first sprayed that one on myself, I was not a big fan. I thought it smelled like metal and I did not like it. But the dry down is amazing. I would get a bottle. I have just like a, a decant of it right now, but I would purchase a bottle of that because the dry down, especially in cool weather, is good. This one, wow. It kind of makes me want to gag, not because it's like a gross smell, not because it's like dirty or skanky or too incensey or, or too oody. You know, it's, it's nothing like that. Unsurprisingly, not the easiest to understand, but I really want to go through this experience fairly. Oh, God. <laughs> it really, I'm not even acting like it is pungent. Am I getting burnt cookies or almond cookies? No, not yet. But maybe that's in the dry down. Maybe that's coming by afterwards. Let's go ahead and move on to open this Eau de Luna, the smell of the moon. I don't know if I already have some kind of olfactory fatigue happening or if it smells the same taking off the wrapper as the other one. It's milder, but that other one just like smacked me in the face when I opened it up. If you can see, Eau de Luna, 1969. This one smells like a mix between hot dogs on a grill and something rubbery. In the old school rides at Disneyland, like it's a small world and stuff. There's a smell when you go in there. It's kind of in the mist and, and in, I don't know if it's the smoke machines they use combined with everything. But oh my gosh, I, it is such a good nostalgic smell for me. I love that smell. This is holding something similar to that, except a little more out of this world. I mean, for lack of better saying, definitely getting hot dogs on the grill. Maybe if you like had wrapped yourself with some tin foil and there's hot dogs on the grill in the distance and you also just got done using like a really potent commercial cleaner on the floor beneath you, that combination of smells so far just from opening this is what I am gathering. However, let's do what matters. Oh, what is that? Okay, I'll definitely say I like this one more. Oh, something about this one makes me want to gag. The smell of the moon. So the burnt hot dogs, that's kind of like on the low low. That's not very much in your face. This one has a softness to it. Let me um, spray this under Razor Ramon. 
you know, there's something weirdly comforting about this one. Would I would I wear it on my my person as a fragrance? Absolutely not. I mean, maybe if I was going on a date with an astronaut or something and thought that they might, you know, be like find some appeal to it. I would say that both of these are more kind of collector's pieces, artwork pieces for the experience behind smelling space. Or if you have a kid or a teenager who that is their goal, they want to work for NASA, they want to be an astronaut, and they really want to manifest that and really want to feel the feelings as if they were in space. But I would buy that kid a really cool, realistic space suit and maybe a virtual reality game where they can be on the moon. And then as they're doing it, spray this all around them. If that is not feeling the feelings to manifest something, then I I really do not know what is. The moon smells like hot dogs and lotion. So yeah, I'm going to go about my day and I will check back in with you guys here later this evening. A little update. It has been three hours since I sprayed it on. Shortly after the first part of filming, I actually... um put on a jacket not just because it's a little chilly also because it is stinging the nose specifically the eau de space that one it's actually permeating through this jacket now so i might have to change it because it's like if you were to make some orange tang in like a burnt metal cup and just start drink i don't know it's it's intense the moon it's milder but it's still like burnt hot dogs it's like burnt hot dogs mixed with generic lotion that is what the moon smells like it's afternoon nap time for the kitties look at the toe beans can you smell me i'm sure you can i'm gonna check on your brother well hi is this your new nap spot is this your new nap spot oh my gosh you can look he's sniffing he can smell it here do you want to smell it Smell my arm. No, not my hand. Smell my arm. Okay, you can smell my hand too. I love you. You're a good boy. What about this one? What about the moon? Do you want to go to the moon? No, nope, not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, hello, you little dark chocolate pretzel. <laughs> Why do you look so shocked? Do you think you're in space? Is it wafting to you? All right. Well, that was my afternoon kitty break and a little update on the smell. I'm gonna see if I can last wearing uh, these fragrances on my body and the t-shirt through the end of the day because, not gonna lie, pretty off-putting. Wouldn't you say, Ronan? Yeah. Nobody wants to cuddle with me today. I get it. I get it. Well, hello. Um, yes, if you can't tell, I'm wearing a different hoodie jacket and a different shirt. Why? Because shortly after filming the last update, it is now, by the way, a little after six. Shortly after the last update, I'm still getting wafts of it now. I had to scrub it off and change. And here's the thing, it would not scrub off easily. At first I tried water with soap and I scrubbed my arms really well and then I rinsed it out and it didn't rinse out. The, the Luna one, the moon one, this side, that one was fairly easier to get rid of, but the smell of space, it is permeating my life right now. It's in my nose. It's like my nostrils are stinging. I get wafts of it. I, I drove with the windows down after changing my shirt and then I realized it's because I also, when I sprayed it on my shirt, it must've gotten on my skin underneath. I had to use uh, oil thinking that rubbing the oil in would dilute the oil that was in the fragrance and that would help it wash off. And that did, that did help quite a bit, but it is still there. So 11 out of 10 for longevity. <laughs> and for strength even though you don't want that with this kind of fragrance you guys it is pungent i mean it lingers you know how sometimes little kids smell like stale cookies and dirt let's say a little kid was to come along smelling of stale cookies and he was to drink fresh orange juice maybe a couple hours before and he just got off of one of those playground things that spins and he walked your direction and you had just finished a hot dog that was wrapped in tin foil and that tin foil was still left out in front of you and that kid just walked up and threw up his rancid acidic orange juice onto your tinfoil. That 
apparently is what space smells like. Now the moon, you hear, I'm not mentioning it much because that was pretty mild, but that smells, like I mentioned before, just like some generic body lotion mixed with hot dogs on the grill. There's a lot of hot dogs happening in space. I don't know what that means. Anyway, needless to say, it's a novelty item. It is not something you want to wear. And I'm very diplomatic with my fragrances. I always look for what's good, the positive, how it could be interpreted. Even if it's not favorable to, to me, it, I could see how other people may like it. This one, no, n nobody should wear this unless you want to have like a space themed party or blend in with aliens if you feel like you're around some, you know, so, so you don't stand out. You seemed unbothered today by it, right, babe? What about you, little one? Oh, you're so dark, I can barely see you, sweet boy. If you have smelled the Eau de Space or Eau de Luna, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I guess I'll see you in the next video smelling much, much better. Right, bubbies? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Say bye.